Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to lock worksheets into also random digits, I mean random numbers with decimals and all that. So first, we're going to show you what happens when you lock a sheet. The sheet's locked, that means I can't do anything to it, I have to get a password. But if I go to sheet 2, where I don't have a password, I can add whatever I want. So, that's cool. So, if you're a teacher and you want to share something with your students, or if you have financial statistics on there and you don't want people changing the numbers on them but you want people to have access to it to view it on a weekly or daily basis you can lock the sheet then obviously trust a few people if you want to type in password I made a demo for the sake of this demonstration and now I can add to the sheet so now I'm just gonna add some more random numbers I'm gonna take these and delete these so they don't keep going up so we're just gonna do equals you can do ran between you can type it in that way where you can always go to the formulas and their function. You can type it up here in between and it'll come up. So once again I've talked about this in another video. The bottom means what number do you want to go to and the lowest. We're going to go to zero. And then our top one is going to be a hundred. So let's say you're like doing test scores. So zero to a hundred. Okay. That's seventy two. That's it. You know, it's going to give you a real basic stuff here, 90 and all that. If you're saying, well, I don't want just whole numbers, how can I get some decimals? Okay. You can divide that by 10, and now we can get stuff like this. I can get 26, 9.5. So that's pretty cool. I did not carry that out the whole way. Let me do that one more time. There we go. So... If you have 10 questions, you can make it, I mean, if you have 100 questions, but you want to make it out of 10, you can make it like this. So 4.4 would really be 44. Now, if you want even more, just show you here, we can increase the uh, digit placing. Now we can see out to 2, and what we're going to do is make this 1,000, and we're going to divide this by 100. And now we can get two digits out. So if you need two decimals out that are random, still within below 10, that's how you can do it. Or you can just do divide like that, and then you know you can get even a little higher. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this can help some of you. If not, it's just a fun little fact to know.